go back to em waves chapter there we had a discussion of the uh, em wave generated so what is the best simplest method of generating em wave i will take a <coughs> there is an ac source okay let let it be of higher frequency not uh, 50 hertz let it be of higher frequency there is ac source you know it these are the, these are just iron rods i'll switch on so no no you you know something like uh, this will be positive negative during positive off cycle so current will flow current will flow means electrons will flow let's assume that positive charge now the electrons they don't know that there is a open path how did it come to know so the moment i switch on the source now the electron the positive charge starts moving of course there is no positive charge it's hypothetical the positive charge starts moving and it will have drift velocity so the positive charge starts moving here by the time it arrives here after arriving here it come to know that there is an open circuit no there is no path so what will happen to this particular charge it was having kinetic energy so that kinetic energy it will get converted into electromagnetic wave got the idea so this was the thing so this will be very difficult for us to accept but at higher frequencies we do get uh, where do that kinetic energy gone we will get converted into electromagnetic wave the wave means we just show like that the particular rod system will behave like a for like a source of em wave <coughs> so here what we get is the em wave will propagate here so what is this this is the wave front what is this arrow direction of wave propagation okay fine and this is the thing that one so that that particular antenna we will we'll call this as the dipole antenna but better the, what is this there is a rod actually iron rod the shape of like this this iron rod this everything setup is called as an antenna what is antenna which will convert ac signal to em wave already long back we have discussed this in communication chapter and ago and also in the em wave chapter okay now what is this this is em wave what that em wave made up of what is that electromagnetic wave made up of it contains the electric and magnetic field so this will like act like a point source where the light will spread in all direction huh? radially in all directions not not in a plane in all directions and and this particular will contain the Okay, this one. So this will be the electric field. This will be the magnetic field, and this will be the direction of propagation. And uh, we we do sh we use this method. If you can recollect, rough diagram I'm putting where the value of e bar is given by e naught sine. now y x because it is propagating along x axis this is e not b not this one and it's a it represents a traveling wave no the energy in the form of electric magnetic field will propagate with the speed of light this is the plane polarized huh? the wave generated will not be like this since you were familiar with this i am starting this one hun polarized light will be generated and we know the em wave at any instant of time what is the basic property at any time t e bar will be perpendicular to b bar look at this uh, now so don't think that e bar is varying e bar will be directed along y axis is it e bar always along y axis no at, at the instant when e bar along y axis b bar will be along z axis <coughs> when e bar rotates like this b bar will rotate so what's happening to e bar and b bar both will be rotating in a which plane in y z plane so this is let me take this is x axis y axis z axis both e bar and b bar 
will be rotating in yz plane and these are some important points yeah come for this one both will be it's not that e bar is along y axis only e bar will be rotating b bar will rotate but they will rotate in yz plane and at any instant of time e bar will be perpendicular to b bar and also it will be propagating and its magnitude will vary as a function of position time i think four important things you have to remember what is that the e bar vector will propagate will propagate so the e bar will be as a function of position and time will rotate in yz plane and all, at all time <coughs> it will be perpendicular to mag field this is what called as unpolarized light so what is unpolarized light the unpolarized light will follow this one the em wave with above features is called unpolarized light not polarized unpolarized light and this diagram also wrong to make you to think that sign no i just brought it so if you look at only e bar how how do that particular e bar will be let, let me try to show that unpolarized this is the not a correct diagram for to make you to think why sign is what i just took this one let me take the unpolarized light let me draw the tip of that one <coughs> initially t equals zero the e bar will be along y axis and the wave is propagating along x axis here will agree this so this e bar vector <coughs> it it will now earlier it was along y axis so now it will lie in yz plane then then at one instant it will be along z axis and it magnitude also will vary no you see this huh? somewhere here it should be you just uh, you type in google uh, like a propagation of uh, uh, em wave e e ro rotation of e bar vector in unpolarized light no they will show that particular uh, like a uh, video okay that particular video what
Sir, your voice is not audible, sir. No, no. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. So, what's happening? Rotation of e-bar vector and magnitude varying with time and position. That that the tip of what is this? What is this red color one? Red color one is the tip of e bar vector say you, you find a little bit difficult so what, what actually you are doing this one so if you look at the th this is the minus z axis positive z axis positive y axis negative y axis so initially where the e bar vector it, it was here no It was here. This is a dotted line. Okay, no, no, come for this. After some, it will have maximum amplitude. Let me take this one. No, after this, what should happen to because e equal to so that the magnitude will decrease. So it will come like this after some time. Then after some time, it will be like this. Uh, then, 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 fine. So and <coughs> it will vary sinusoidally. Sinusoidally means what should happen? Sinusoidal or cosine you can take better cosine. So when is it, if it's a cosine function, to make you understand, I just took it something E naught cos, cos I took it, nothing wrong. If it is a sine means I should show from zero. The magnitude increases. I took like co cosine now. So initially, like a maximum magnitude, then cosine function should decrease, will become 90. Then again, again, again will become zero. Then then again magnitude will increase in opposite direction. That one. So like that, it will keep on rotate. No. So cosine function means I think will plot like this. How many times it will become zero? Twice. So maximum zero, again maximum, again this one. So here maximum, again it'll come like this. And also here it will be zero, just rough diagram to show that some some small small length what I just picked up here. This one. So what's happening to this magnitude? Earlier e naught decreases zero. Then then again it increases, becomes maximum. Then again 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 decreases. Again, it increases. But what's happening to this E bar? This E bar should rotate, magnitude <coughs> should vary cosinusoidally, and also what will happen? Should propagate. So when you plot that tip of E bar, no, will be like this. This is an unpolarized light. I'll, I'll write it this one unpolarized light. This is very important. If you can understand this, another five minutes, I'll finish off this chapter in unpolarized light, the rotation of E bar vector <coughs> varying with time and position. Like that, the B bar also will be rotating. I'm not bothered. Since the human eye will respond only for what? The electric field vector. So therefore, I'm more bothered about the E bar vector in the light than, than the B bar vector. For, for your understanding purpose, I'll, I'll continue with this. Okay, this is what happens here, the, the E bar vector. I, I should show zero. Again, you may say, so why there is no <coughs> E bar along that axis? That's why I just took some length here, some magnet, but it should be zero practically. Here you can see this one. Okay, got the idea? So from here to here, so this is E bar vector. So what's happening to E bar? Similarly, when E bar is here, where B bar, B bar will be here. When, when E bar is here, the B bar will be here. At all the time, E bar and B bar should be perpendicular. Now try to imagine now. E bar, B bar vector will be rotating in Y-Z plane. 
magnitude will be varying as a function of position and time and at all the times they'll be perpendicular to each other that is what unpolarized light is okay now this unpolarized light i'll pass through a slab anything will happen to it <coughs> nothing again what you get you get the same unpolarized light so when a uh, when this unpolarized light so how to represent this will be very complex no shall we use this diagram to represent unpolarized light i think it's a big headache no we can never we can't draw all the time diagram like this so th there is a one one best thing okay th there is a one way even this also very difficult so look at this how the polarizations are confined along y axis and also along z axis also along the axis so in the books what happened they have uh, they made diagrams still more simplified that they are more still more simplified what is that instead of showing that uh, so th there is a one best way of showing the unpolar instead of showing so many arrows of varying amplitude no they just shown that there is the unpolarized light mm -hmm. there is also e bar vector we are concentrating only on e bar or, or if unpolarized light is propagating along x axis okay let's get into this one so look at the e bar e bar in which all which all directions it will vibrate it will have vibrations along y and also along z axis so still more better simplified one what we have is And, and in what direction the wave is propagating? The wave is propagating along x-axis. This is the direction of wave propagation. I need some space. Yeah. I'll, I'll write C. It is understood. What do you mean by this? There's a vibration along the axis and also along y-axis. Instead of discussing this, 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 this will be much easier. This is called okay. And in short, what we write it as UPL, unpolarized light. So, what is UPL? UPL is called as un. Okay, I agree this. any doubt you if you want to clarify because this is the a background a student must have what do you mean by unpolarized light how it will be <clears throat> okay now now if i pass this unpolarized light through a slab we are done so many problems now refraction so many things <coughs> let me begin now so if we have a slab Uh, it will undergo why it is not coming i'll i'll shade again i'll shade again Uh, no what is unpolarized light unpolarized light is this one anything will happen to it nothing will happen it just go as unpolarized
Okay, they, they were the slab, no? Glass, glass slab. The glass slab will not do anything to this vibration. It will just permit them to, as you carry on your, how you want to move, how you want to rotate, you carry on. The glass slab, it says. There's an unpolarized light, unpolarized light. Now, they may ask you very simple questions like this. Huh? That's why I'm just uh, trying to put everything diagram because you open book, no, you, you have just some two or three pages, that's all. But 